Hello and welcome. I never know how to do intros. I used to say, hey YouTube molester, sorry, hey YouTube Tulvesta, and no one could understand what I was saying. Everyone thought I was saying, hey YouTube Tulvesta here, and hey YouTube Tulvesta. So, you know, I can't say that. Hey guys, it's like, guys, I don't really say that, but I know there's a few female viewers, so I'd never know what to say, and if I just say hi, it's just like, Hi, welcome to another video. Now, a few videos ago, I showed a clip at the end of me tanking some max mages at Barbasol, and everyone's like, did you die? Did you die? Did you make it out alive? Well, we're about to find out. I was peeking at the Warriors Guild, and I decided to bank at Barbasol. Pretty good place to bank, because obviously there's a bank, and there's a one by one square at the Fire Giants, and also, you can take the agility shortcut to the Gnome Stronghold once you've lost your skull, and unfortunately, Listen dude comes in, uh, yeah, Max Mage literally barrages like 30 fucking sevens. But to be honest, I wasn't panicking in the slightest, I was just keeping calm, like that's all you've got to do, just got to keep calm, you know what you've got to do. To be honest, if he pulled out his blowpipe or knives, like I wouldn't have really stood a chance because I had to get my venoms out and it was a pain, you know, like in getting all my noted food out and everything. And he had about... <sighs> fucking phone. Eventually purge <laughs> got all the roll accounts because obviously if they brought all the mains they can't do anything apart from like PJ me off but he's gonna be on him anyway so he's not gonna get off me like so they brought the rolls and just literally just suicided them which actually helped quite a lot. I could have got a box a few times which was stupid of me but yeah, it actually helped a bit. And eventually, I started fighting back a little bit. And, you know, I tanked it for 30 minutes. I probably should have run around more. I literally tanked it for, like, 45 minutes. Like, something stupid like that. Because most of the time, I was in the bank trying to get my food out. So, it was time to run. And they splashed every single fucking freeze. I didn't think... You know, I thought it'd be a struggle going to the safe zone. Like, you'd catch every freeze. He's in max mage, for God's sake. Splashed every single freeze, didn't even eat once until I got to the agility shortcut. Now then, who remembers when I downed that rot member in safe zone? Well, kind of. I went up the agility shortcut and no one hit me. I didn't think you'd be able to get stacked, to be honest. I thought you could stack, like, one hit. So, I didn't even bother eating, which was fucking stupid of me. Like, I should have brewed up, but I just wanted to get to safety. I, I don't even know what was going through my mind, but, you know, you learn from your mistakes and everything. And then this happens. Yeah, that fucking happened. <laughs> yes, I tank it for 45 minutes and then I just die in the safe zone for full fucking food, man. And, um... Something that's gonna stay with me for a very long time is this right here. <laughs> People are gonna roast me for the rest of my life and I know my, my team members are already roasting me every single day for it. What have I got myself into? But yet, to be honest, it wasn't actually that harsh of a death because I was unsculled and in a safe zone and he was such a high combat. I literally lost hardly anything. I still had, I lost like three range levels, so I still had black DI'd. I lost like two attack levels and defense levels. So it wasn't actually that bad. I had Darox in the deposit box. So yeah, money was the main thing, but my team member managed to loot everything. All my gear. The only thing I did lose was obviously my bank, 10 items. And my bank key is disappeared for life, so they didn't even get my whip. My whip and everything was in the bank. So they didn't gain anything, and I got all my shit back. And an easy real but Well, it wasn't too much of an easy real but I, I swapped most of my money to 07, so... Yeah, nextly was the rebuild. I managed to sell, like, everything to buy back a whip, because I was planning to do Darok bombing. Like, I had full Daroks in the deposit, so I had to sell that, buy my whip back, and we are back PKing again. So I've still got everything I need. Got my whip back. I've even got 92 strength. I've still got, you know, black DI'd and like the similar defense and attack level. So back we are PKing. Warriors Guild. And I'm absolutely working this guy. As you can see. Yeah, it's pretty one way as you can see. Absolutely working him. He's only 78 strength. So I'm not too worried. I think his max hit's about 25. And yeah, it, the the clip's just gonna speak for itself, really. That's all I'm gonna say. That is all I'm gonna say. Oh my god, I actually. Just... <laughs>
Oh my god, that's actually hilarious. Yeah, that actually just happened. I thought he was frozen so I could just go in the bank and get food rather than waste on my brews. I could have easily just drank a brew. I thought I was safe. And he maxed on me with his 78 strength. <gasps> I'm such a noob. But to be honest, I'm kind of glad it happened because I wanted to go back to 07 because it's no fun going around down my mode for 30 minutes without finding a single person. Like, I can skull up and I can go around for the rest of the 30 minutes trying to find a key and find no one. So I've just skulled for no reason. You know what I mean? So it's kind of a good thing. Back to 07 now. However, I will be playing the tournament, of course, and next seasonals. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little series of seasonal demo mode. I'll see you next time.